Hey everybody, Tom Pingle here. Uh, we're going to talk about downloading and installing Anaconda for analysis in GIS. Um, the first thing to do is to download the program. Um, so if you go to anaconda.com slash distribution or just Google Anaconda download, you're likely to wind up on this page. Uh, I'm going to hit the download button. I've got two major flavors um, of Python that you can get. You can either get the uh, most current Python version 3, uh, which in this case is 3.7, or you can go back and get version 2. Uh, there's still quite a bit of Python um, being done in version 2. Uh, in fact, ArcGIS 10 is still in Python 2, uh, but ArcGIS Pro is in Python 3. Um, if you've got a modern computer, you're probably going to be asking for the 64-bit version. Um, some specialty computers might um, be looking for the 32-bit, but um, if you just click on this, it'll prompt and download. Now, I've already um, started that download uh, and downloaded the package here, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. Um, there are a few different options here. Uh, first, we have a license agreement. Um, you can select the installation type. Um, I generally, um, if I have admin uh, privileges on the computer that I'm installing to, will install it for all users. Uh, we have to authorize that, and then it's going to give you a directory here to install to. Um, I generally don't add this to the path environment anymore, uh, and I do register it as the um, Python 7, uh, 3, 7. Uh, on the system. Um, so these should be the default options and you can just hit OK. Uh, the installation for Anaconda will depend on um, your computer. Um, it can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to, um, I've seen some installs take longer than 10 minutes. Um, but uh, there are a fair number of packages that get installed, um, so it, it may take a, a fair bit of time, again, depending on your computer. I'm going to pause the video right now, uh, let it finish installing, and I'll uh, unpause when we get to the next prompt. Okay, that install is completed, and we'll hit next. All right, when the installation is complete, um, you should be able to look under Anaconda uh, and see um, these kinds of things. So you'll see Spider, you'll see Jupyter Netbook, uh, Notebook, Anaconda prompt. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install uh, the environment that we're going to need for the course, which is going to include several packages. Um, so we're going to use the analysis in GIS um, YML, uh, which is a uh, configuration file. And to run that, we're going to click on the Anaconda prompt. Um, I typically will run this if I have um, privileges as the administrator. And then we'll change directory to where we downloaded it to, uh, which in my case is temp. Uh, and then we're going to install the file. And to do that, we're going to type conda env for environment, create, and then we're going to give it uh, this dash f flag and the name of the YAML file. And once we start writing this, we can actually just hit tab and it will autocomplete. So you only really need to get uh, the first portion of that. And then we'll hit enter. Um, this is going to take a look at the uh, contents of that YML file, um, which while this is starting out, I'll go ahead and bring up. So I've loaded analysis in gis.yml into um, my favorite text editor, uh, which is Notepad++. Um, and we're just taking a look at this. Um, you can see that it's got a name. Uh, it's got a number of channels that we're using to do the installs, and then it's got some dependencies. Um, so um, these are going to list all of the packages that need to get uh, installed along with it. Um, over here on the left, back at the Anaconda prompt, um, you can see that these packages are actually getting downloaded right now, uh, and then they're going to get installed. So we're going to hit pause. Um, this shouldn't take too long, uh, but there's no sense in watching uh, paint dry here. Um, so uh, I'll pause the video and unpause it when it's done with the install. Okay, after a couple of minutes, those packages are downloaded and installed. Um, and we get a message here at the bottom um, that shows us how to activate the environment. So we can type in Conda activate analysis in GIS 
And when activated, you'll see that we've changed from base to analysis in GIS. Um, the last thing we might want to do is run a uh, Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, uh, all we need to do is type uh, Jupyter-Notebook. And this will create and run um, uh, what's called a kernel in the background. Uh, that's actually going to interpret the Python commands that we send it uh, and start um, a, uh, an instance of the window here. Um, with, with this, we can actually either load notebooks if we had any in this directory, uh, or we can create new notebooks this way, uh, in which case we're here. Uh, and from this menu as well, you can, you can open notebooks. Um, so there's a quick um, uh, primer of uh, how to get started installing Anaconda and creating the environment. Uh, as a reminder, uh, the Lab Environment 101 Wallace is available to all students in the class. Um, so this step is not necessary, um, but if you wanted to try this at home, uh, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, thanks very much.